Hello everybody, my name is Roxy and this is Rugby BS. So today I'm super excited to share this video with you because here's the thing, I wasn't going to make a March TBR because my monthly video that's going up on the third Sunday of every month from March on was going to be a summer highlight so I was going to wrap up my February TBR and I was going to talk about all the things that I loved and didn't love so much during January and February. But I just found out there is an Irish readathon going on and I'm not only excited because I love Irish literature as you know but actually because I was planning on reading exclusively books on Ireland or by Irish authors through the month of March excepting of course all the books that I have to read for college because that's there's nothing I can do about that but anyways there are four hosts that actually I didn't know before this I found out Thanks to Ange from Beyond the Pages, I'm going to link her channel and the four hosts channels down below so you can go see their announcement videos. But basically, it's like Nonfiction November, basically it's just encouraging you to pick up more Irish literature than you usually would. And there are five challenges in case you want to participate in them. So the first one is read a book by an Irish author that was published in the last 10 years and for that I have Dark Lies the Island by Kevin Barry. So this is a collection of short stories by Kevin Barry, uh, author of Beetlebone, which I love and the review for that is coming up soon. I swear it's part of my Goldsmith Challenge Prize and also my 5 star prediction TBR. So all of those wrap ups are coming, I swear, but yeah. He's supposed to be a great short storyteller, like he was originally a short storyteller, so I think this is going to be great. Then, an Irish classic or modern classic, I want to read The Third Policeman by Flann O'Brien, which I have the physical copy in a bind up with all of his novels, but I don't have it here, so I can't show it to you, I'll just put a picture. The Third Policeman, I think, is like his most well-known novel, and I read some of his columns like paper articles and stuff like that and they're so funny he's such a witty person I just can't wait to read a novel by him then the third challenge is to read a book by a female Irish author and for that I chose A Girl is a Half-Formed Thing by Amar McBride yeah I read um, The Lost of Bohemians really really loved that again I also have to do the wrap-up for this it's coming I swear Amar McBride writes in a very special and very distinct way, grammatically speaking, her linguistic usage is, is quite, uh, in, not intricate, but it's, it's very strange and it's almost like stream of consciousness, but not in the common way, in a way that you really think, okay, the things are happening as the character reasons. And I think it's about the relationship of the narrator, who's a young woman, with her brother of whom she has to take care because she's um, he has some sort of disability not sure about that but I think so and my washer machine is calling me sorry about that then the fourth challenge is to read a book based on or about an Irish history um, event and so I chose it is kind of cheating but I'm already halfway through this and uh, yeah I want it to count Wild Irish Women by uh, Marianne Broderick this is literally just a compilation of biographies of uh, Irish women of note like there are some historical figures but there are also some more obscure random picks and they are grouped thematically, which I always really enjoy, not chronologically. Sometimes chronologically can feel more disjointed than, say, all the writers, all the patriots, etc. This is really interesting. It's really light, it's really easy to read, but then I feel like I've learned so much. And so that's it. And the bonus challenge is to read a book with green on the cover. So I'm going to take out my always reliable <laughs> Inventing Ireland by Declan Kiebert, and this is a edition in Spanish. You must be thinking she hates this book, she never gets through it, but it's a really long book and it's kind of dense because it's essays on literary history and Irish, the literary Irish revival, but linked to national and political Irish 
identity. And so it is really dense, especially if you are not from Ireland. And that's why I haven't finished it. But slowly I'm making my way through it, I swear. On top of that, I have some other books I'd like to read. This is the new Irish writing issue of Grantham Magazine. I have one other Grantham Magazine and I haven't read either. I just found out, by the way, that you can order this through Book Depository and that's just wonderful. But anyways, yeah, this is just... It has pictures and articles and short stories by and about Irish authors, new currently writing Irish authors. I would also like to continue reading A History of Ireland by Peter and Fiona Somerset Fry. I've been enjoying this. I picked this up for Nonfiction November. It's not that dense, it's still like, it's a history book, um, but it's still very complete and engaging, and so I'm happy about that. And oh my god, I don't know what kind of bus is going through like the street right now, but that was so loud, I'm sorry. Then I also have a line made by Walking by Sarah Baum, and this is part of my Goldsmith Prize challenge. I think it's signed, yeah, it's tinyly signed. But um, the cashier, when I bought it, told me that she had just been in the store like the week before. She said like she was so smart and so interesting and so young, and it was so impressive what she had done, and that the novel was actually quite good, and so I'm excited. And finally, I have Solar Bones by Mike McCormack, and this is supposed to be like one long sentence, but it's not. I mean, it still has paragraphs, it just doesn't have punctuation, but who needs punctuation these days? I know something about this book, that it's supposed to be on the back, but it's also kind of a spoiler, and it has been a point of controversy, so I'm not going to mention it until I read it and I know if... I consider it a spoiler or not. By the way, I would also love to pick up A Thousand and One Things to Know About Ireland, which is a book that I don't have here physically, but I do own physically. And it's a book with just like a random bunch of important information about Ireland. And it's grouped, again, thematically, which it really helps me. I feel like it helps me organize information. And it's like a compilation of lists and paragraphs. and. I'm really excited and it might be a light read which I might need further on this month because this month is going to be crazy. I would also like to pick up uh, Brooklyn by Colm Tobin which is not set in Ireland, it's set in Brooklyn but it's by an Irish author about an Irish girl in Brooklyn in the 1950s or something like that. And the thing is that I own that book but I thought I had it here and apparently I don't and so I have to look for it in my home at my dad's place somewhere. That book must be somewhere. But anyways, that's all that I'd like to pick up. I'm not going to get to all of that. Because here's the thing. College is in session now. And I have two literary courses this year on top of like my regular courses and a master's level class. So I am going to have a lot to read and also work. And there are lots of concerts for some reason. Like I'm going to Lollapalooza next week and those are three days. So yeah, it's going to be a hectic month. And so I don't know how much of this I'm going to get down, but I'm going to focus on completing the five challenges and I'll try to do a wrap up for this but it will be in April, more or less, because I'm going to do the summer highlights wrap-up videos, because it's, they are plural, and that's going to count as, like, my monthly video, and this is just a bonus. So I hope you like this TBR. As I said, I'm going to link all the announcement videos plus on TBR, because it's thanks to her that I found out. And that's it. See you next time. Tell me if you are going to participate because it would be nice. Irish literature is super cool. So yeah, <laughs> that was like so lame, like a teacher trying to say, kids, Irish literature is cool, but it is. So I wish you would check something out. And that's it. See you next time <laughs> for the second time.